Red Mountain 3, which is Colorado's version of Rainbow Mountain in Peru. I've always wanted to visit, um, but unfortunately with COVID and everything, we just haven't had a ton of opportunities to travel and it's not number one on our priority list to go to Peru. Hopefully someday we'll make it out there, but we're excited to check out what Colorado has to offer. Obviously people come up here for the beautiful colors on Red Mountain, but the hike up here, even though it's entirely on Jeep roads, it is strikingly gorgeous and it's super cool to pass by all the mining ruins. Of course, keep the owner friendly with hikers and skiers by staying off of them, but man, what a cool little hike up here. We are gaining some ground up here. But man, what a steep road. Props to the guy who owns this property, who runs private Jeep tours up here. I, myself, um, only use four-wheel drive on my feet. Because man, this is one steep road. And like I said earlier, there are mines all over this property, so super important to stay on trail. Um, but this is a pretty cool one. It just goes right into the side of the mountain. Um, you can see the opening right there. I completely forget what a shaft is and what the ones that go into the mountain are. Aren't the shafts that go down? Okay. So I completely forget what it is when it's horizontal and goes into the mountain. Um, but there are horizontal I'll just see shack things all over the place. Super cool. Welcome to Red Mountain 3. This is colorful and beautiful. Who needs to go to Peru? Or you can just join all the Texans outside of Hure.
Jonathan, as much as we've enjoyed hanging out up here, those clouds are coming in. It's time to get the F off this mountain. never really feels that steep when you're going up. But then when you go down, you realize, wow, this was a lot steeper and looser than I originally thought. <laughs> it's like an everyday thing. Fingers crossed for Mexican food. We'll see. Take care.